hello guys welcome back to another video tutorial in this video i'm gonna teach you how you can install laravel 9.0 on windows 10 operating system i made two videos on my youtube channel how to install laravel on windows 10 and also i made another video how to install laravel 8.0 but more than users facing problem during the installation of laravel so today I'm going to teach you how you can install Laravel 9.0 step by step from scratch. So before installing Laravel you must have a ZAMP and also Composer. In my case I don't have a ZAMP and also Composer. So the first thing we need to get the ZAMP, write the keyword inside the search engine ZAMP and you will get the this one website, open that. In my case I have Windows so I'm going to select the XAMPP for Windows. I'm going to click to keep and also I'm going to cancel that because I already downloaded the XAMPP on my PC. I open my download section as you can see. I'm going to select that and click to yes. and you need to click ok next and if you want to uncheck any components as you want in my case i'll leave that and click to next and this is a directive where you want to install the zam in my case i'm going to use c and uh, inside the c drive we're going to create a Zen folder inside the Zen folder we will get the PHP uh, programming right I mean server side uh, files and folders so I'm gonna click next and select the language next and I'm gonna uncheck that next next and you need to wait to install the ZAMP once the installation has been completed then you are able to see this one message complete the ZAMP setup do you want to start the control panel now i'm gonna uncheck that and click to finish once you install the ZAMP then you will get the ZAMP inside your c drive so let's check it now here is a XAMPP folder inside the C drive. Once you install the XAMPP, right? Without installing XAMPP, you can't get the folder, right? XAMPP folder. Inside there have a many folders and many files, but we don't need to uh, use them because we just uh, installed the Laravel 9, right? The next thing you need to get the composer and install that. So let's see how we can do that i'm gonna write composer and open the first one link and click to download click to download and open the composer setup click to run install for all users yes i'll leave that uh, developer mode take control just compose all installer I'll leave that here is a important thing more than users are facing to getting the php.exe file in my case I just installed the XAMPP once I install that then I just uh, install composer then the composer will get automatically php.exe file if you face problem to getting this one file so you need to get browse then and go down below select the php folder and you will get this one file right and click to next next has your php version 8.1.5 after installing the xam latest version of xam right you will get 8.5.8.1.5 .8 so i just click to install And click next finish once you do that then you need to check that how you can check the composer 
working or not so you need to go on start and click to cmd and write the simple command composer you will get the text like this one many text and also you will get the composer version like uh, this time composer version is 2.3.5 once you complete that then you are able to install laravel 9.0 or any other version so let's see how we can install that i'm going to use cls command to clean the screen of cmd command prompt right so first step you need to get the directory where you want to install that so i go to my zem folder htdoc folder inside the htdocs folder i'm going to install laravel 9.0 so you need to select this one path copy that go to c cmd command prompt and write the cd and path your path where you install the laravel and hit enter once you enter the zem folder htdoc then you are able to install the laravel inside the htdocs folder so let's see how we can install that just write the composer create a project laravel laravel and then you need to write the project name you can write any name as you want in my case i just use my hyphen site and hit enter you will get the laravel latest version on the my site project inside the my site project folder you will get that i'm going to show you i go to my c drive as you can see my hyphen site folder has been created after uh, the installation uh, of laravel 9 i'm going to show you how you can run that and how you can run that uh, with the help of uh, serve command and also how you can run that with the help of zamp right so we need to wait to install the laravel once you successfully install the laravel 9.0 then you are able to run that how you can run that so you need to write first i'm going to use cls command just a minute first you need to enter inside the my site dot my hyphen site uh, directory i'm going to copy that no i just write the cd my site once you enter inside the directory inside the my hyphen site have a laravel project then you need to use php artisan serve then you will get the port like this one just a minute okay i'm gonna use notepad to getting that uh one one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one colon eight thousand you need to copy that and uh, where it is you need to open your browser and run that you are able to see the laravel landing page has been appeared inside my browser right and in the right side have a laravel version and also php version if you close this one this one uh, command prompt then you can't run the laravel behind the scene you need to run the php artisan serve command right the next thing you need to know how you can run the laravel project with the help of zem so you need to search the zem and open that and then you need to click to start apache just start apache once you start the apache then you need to go on your htdoc folder and copy this one site i mean uh, inside the my site public folder you need to go on there and you just use localhost hyphen and my hyphen site slash public as you can see behind this one project have a zamp right 
So this is a very simple way to install the Laravel and uh, use that with the help of a sub command and also Xamarin. I hope you are understood as well. Thank you very much for watching. Have a nice day.